Okay, so I'm gonna show you my meal plan. So I didn't put the days on here because I have no idea what days I'm gonna have what. I always end up going off of my meal plan as far as what and what order. So just throwing it all out there. I have a really super busy week. So I purposely picked a few slow cooker meals to help with that. So this is starting for the week of January 27th. So starting on Sunday, one of the days I'm gonna do a slow cooker pork chops that's gonna have apples, carrots, and potatoes in it. It sounds amazing, cannot wait to try that. Then I'm gonna do um, a cilantro lime grilled chicken. I don't know if I'll put that on a salad or just have it with vegetables and whatnot, but I love the cilantro lime marinade. And then a new one for me is the curry marinade. So I'm gonna do that, and again, it'll just either be as grilled chicken or on a salad. Another new recipe is this beef and broccoli. Cannot wait to try that, it sounds super good. And I will show how I make the beef and broccoli. You'll see the curry in meal prep. Um, I will show, I will do a, a video on the pork chops as well. Um, my family will be having a slow cooker pot roast. I don't think I'll have that, I'll just make something else for myself that night. Pot roast hits, like sits really heavy on my stomach. Um, I'm hoping the beef and broccoli is okay, but um, anyway, I'm gonna make that on the slow cooker. And then I'm gonna do lettuce wrapped turkey burgers for myself, regular burgers for the family, which I forgot to get burger buns for them. I'll have to pick those up. And then one night for leftovers or I may do breakfast for dinner. So for my lunches this week, I'll have any leftovers. I'm gonna make up some chicken salad and have that with lettuce wraps. And I'm also gonna do some chicken fajita bowls and I'll eat those with lettuce wraps as well. And then for meal prep this week, I'm gonna go ahead and get my chicken in the marinade and put those into the freezer so I can just pull them out the night before I have them for dinner. I'm gonna prep all the veggies that I need for both of the slow cooker meals, except for the potatoes, of course. Those I'll just prep the day I put them in the slow cooker. I'm gonna prep some of the Skinny Ranch, dress the skinny ranch dressing. You guys probably see Molly make that over on Classically Molly. Um, so I'm gonna try her version of it and I'll, sh I'll show you guys what you need for that. And then I'm also gonna make some balsamic dressing because I really like that. I'll make up my chicken salad, have that ready to go. And I'm gonna prep all my lettuce leaves I'll be using, so get those washed and stored in paper towels. And then I'll make up my sheet pan fajita bowls. So that'll be my meal prep for the week, which you will see tomorrow. So let's get into the grocery haul. So here will be my grocery haul for this week. And I will have the prices and the smart points on the screen as usual. So picked up some pork chops. This will be for that pork chop, apple, carrot, potato, slow cooker meal. Sounds super good. I always like pork chops and apples, so I thought this recipe sounded really good. I'll have all the recipes that I'm mentioning for my meal plan in the description box as well. And then here's the chicken for the chicken marinade, so I'll break this down in tomorrow's meal prep and go ahead and get those in some gallon size bags for marinade. So I picked up some 93.7 ground turkey, which is what I'll make my turkey burgers, which actually I'm gonna go ahead and add that onto my meal prep that I'll go ahead and make up those turkey burgers um, ahead of time and throw those in the freezer as well. I got a good deal on the steak. I'm gonna trim off all the fat and use this for the beef and broccoli, but they had 30% off coupons on there, probably because they're coming close to the sell by date, so I'll just throw these right in the freezer, or maybe I'll have the beef and broccoli on Sunday or something, but anyway, so I picked up two packages of that. That way that should be plenty for all four of us to have for dinner. I picked up some of these seasoned hash browns. I just been wanting hash browns ever since I made them last week and they were a nice thing to have for breakfast and just throw an egg on top. So I thought I'd have those just to um, have in case I wanted those. Picked up some stevia sweetener. Oh my goodness, you guys, I know I have a ton of tea. You guys are gonna be like, why did you need tea? Like you have a whole drawer for full. This is like an OG thing for me. I used to drink this all the time, the sweet and spicy. A place I worked had this, and I always, always drink it. It is so good, it smells amazing. It reminds me actually a lot about with the Trader Joe's Winter Blend, which I do have some of that still. Um, but I drink a lot of tea at work, and I always forget to bring it, so I actually thought I would just take this and put it in my drawer at work, and then that way I have that when I forget to bring it because I'm almost out of my teamy tea that I keep at work. So anyway, this stuff is super good. It, the smell is amazing. And there is a caffeine free version. If, for those of you that are sensitive to caffeine, you can get this in a caffeine free version as well. I picked up a can of chicken breast. This will be for my um, chicken salad that I'm making. And then I picked up a few RX bars. You guys know I love these. So I picked up a peanut butter 
two of these chocolate sea salt, which is one of my faves besides the apple cinnamon, and then mint chocolate, and here's the other chocolate sea salt. Okay, so now to make that skinny kitchen ranch that Molly always makes, she uses two of these ones. The original recipe that I've made before just calls for one packet of ranch, and she says that she always makes it with two packages of the buttermilk ranch. And so it's still only one point for two tablespoons. So um, yeah, excited about trying it her way. So you need two packages of this. You need some light mayo, which I picked up because I didn't have any. And then you need buttermilk and I'll show you that in a second, but I'll be making that in my meal prep video as well. Picked up some pickles. I love to have pickles in my chicken salad, so I thought I would cut up those or maybe even just to have on the side of the day I have chicken salad. You guys know how much I love my happy eggs. I have been really, really enjoying these. Um, I will be doing a favorites video at the end of January. It'll probably be up in the first couple days of February, but um, I'm gonna give you a preview. This will definitely be one of my favorites for the last couple months, because I haven't done a favorites video since November, so there's gonna be kind of a winter favorites. Anyway, love the happy eggs. When I can't get the Vital Farms pasture raised eggs, these ones are free range and they um, have just that same vibrant yolk. And they're like $4.99, so it's a little bit spendy, but the Vital Farms are really hard to find in my area. When they do have them, I always pick them up, but they were all my stores were out again today, so I wasn't able to get any, but anyway, super good. Picked up two of the fat-free half and half. One will go to work, one will stay here. And then this is the other thing that you need for the um, Skinny Kitchen Ranch, and that is the buttermilk. And buttermilk is only 1% milk fat. I think that's what makes the ranch so low in points. Then I picked up some yogurts. So tell me, have you guys seen this one? This is the creme brulee. This is, I haven't seen this before. Um, I believe this one, I think they're all, I think it's still two points. I think they're all two points for the Dan and Light and Fit. So I'm excited to try this one. My son has tried this one and he said it's good. I picked up two of the Caramel Oikos Triple Zero. These ones are three points. Two of the orange cream. You guys know how much I love the orange cream. And these are three points. And then the two of the peach. Those are the ones my son likes. And those are three points. And I think the rest are vegetables, either frozen or fresh. So we'll start up here. I just wanted a little bit of a different like mix blend that I can have on the nights that I have grilled chicken. So I picked up this flavor Fiesta. And then I was wanting some green beans. So I picked up some of the French cut green beans. And two of the broccoli, just pick those up because I like to have those on hand just uh, for a super quick, I love broccoli. So picked up a bunch of apples. These are opal apples, one of my favorites. So this will be for that apple and pork chop and then also just to have for snacking. Two big heads of broccoli for the beef and broccoli. Celery for the um, pot roast, not for the pot roast, sorry, for the um, chicken salad and then also I might throw some into that pork chop thing, I'm not sure, but definitely for that chicken salad. I love a lot of celery in my chicken salad. Um, bananas. Two limes, this will be for the cilantro lime chicken. Onions for pretty much everything. Two grapefruit, I'm gonna do some boiled grapefruit for breakfast. Avocados, just to have. A couple peppers for the uh, um, sheet pan fajitas that I'll be making for my lunches for the um, fajita bowls. Um, just a zucchini, I always like to have at least one zucchini on hand in case I wanna do some sauteed zucchini um, for either a side or with breakfast. Green onions, the cilantro for the cilantro lime chicken. I got two things for the baby carrots. Um, I'll need them for both the pot roast and for that pork chop casserole. I picked up some romaine hearts, which is makes me really nervous because of all the romaine stuff going on, but this was the only thing I could have that could do the lettuce leaves. I couldn't find anything else that would work for lettuce leaves. I haven't had the greatest luck using like green leaf lettuce or red leaf lettuce. I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So picked up some of those, picked up some organic half and half blend. So this is um, spinach and spring mix. And I picked up some shredded carrots. I love to throw this on my salads. And I believe that is everything. Make sure you check out the description box because I will have my meal plan listed plus any links to any of these recipes. So I also will be doing some cook with me videos with the beef and broccoli and the pork chops and 
anything else that I may have that I haven't shared with you before. And again, just be sure you check out the meal prep video tomorrow to see how I put those marinades together and all the rest of the stuff that I'll be prepping for the week. So thank you for watching an, another grocery haul and meal plan. I will have a meal prep video up tomorrow and let me know down below what you, is on your meal plan for the week. I will have links to any of these recipes that I mentioned down in the description box and any videos that I have, which I guess is only, I think I have a video maybe on the sheet pan fajitas, but not sure, but I will put all that down below in the description box. So check that out for lots of information. And if you're not subscribed, please do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.